it's insane over there. A pedophile's wet dream, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> the girls are on there, what they're what they're up to for how their age, like I'm just like, where are the parents? And then I swipe and I'm like, oh, there's the parents because the mom's like in on it too. She's like drinking wine, shaking her ass and shit. And like this girl's like 14, 15, just like wearing like almost nothing. And the mom's like with them and stuff. Like it's like, it's a, cra it's a crazy realm over there. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Yes, hello there. Coming back at you today with my favorite redhead on the fast food circuit. And that is Wednesday. As you can see here, I've got quite a few mini items and I've strayed off the beaten burger path. I'm kind of going with a bunch of the sides. We didn't get a meat burger. Today I was craving some chicken and I got all the accoutrement, everything laid out. I even went as crazy as to get a frosty, okay? Could have got a drink, but I opted for a chocolate frosty. Now, I think I'm gonna pop that in the freezer real quick and I'll be right back for the pour up. Okay, so gang's all here. I got myself a nice, just simple garden salad right off top. We're gonna dress that up real quick with some ranch, of course, none other. We got the baked potato, sour cream. I put some of my own shredded cheese on there. We got chives and then we got a nice bowl of chili with some shredded cheese that I did up and the Asiago chicken bacon cheese that's what all Diago is it's cheese <laughs> lettuce chicken sandwich so got that and yes that was just for presentation sake that's what the chili came in but i figured we got to get it in the clear bowl so you can have a nice good visual on the chili they gave me a nice extra little sour cream here so i'm gonna plop that on the chili as well Mm hmm she gonna be good and they actually gave me this which is a hot chili sauce I've never had that included in my Wendy's meal before so I say why not ooh that's weird I don't think it's supposed to look like that is it seems a bit runny Weird. It's, whoa, that's crazy. That is intensely salty and quite spice. All right, we got the buttermilk ranch for the salad. I don't know if I'm gonna regret having put that on my chili because uh, that's got quite the kick to it. So as you can tell, you know, I don't know, I was debating what I wanted to get, and then I just remembered Wendy's has, like, some off-the-path type items, so, you know, I figured I'd go for a little smorgasbord of some weird different things, but it is now time to pour up. So, I did have on reserve a peach brisk iced tea. Cracked into it last night, didn't finish the whole thing, so... Finish her off right now. Iced teas can't go flat, right? Can they? I don't think so. But that's it. Oh man, that's a good drink. Highly recommend that drink. Absolutely. Okay, so first thing I want to do actually is get into this chili. I was thinking about it the whole time. Got to work this cheese in. Try to get it stringing. Cause I don't know about you, but I'm all for the melty stringy cheese in the chili. Oh yeah, I forgot. Salad came with croutons. I'm pulling the next level move for the crunch in the chili. Croutons. All right. There we go. I want to give you guys a bite, but it seems so risky. A bite for you. So risky. So risky. Mmm. 
Mm. That is fantastic. I gotta pull it closer to me. Oh man. That's what's up. Mm. Croutons in the chili was the right choice. <laughs> That sauce I put in, it's not, uh, not phasing me like I thought it might. This is exactly what's needed on a cold Canadian winter day. Okay, let's go ahead and try this burger. Let's give you a little further glimpse in there. The bacon and the cheese. Lettuce and tomato is a little weak on it. But we'll make do. Let's see. Can't go wrong with that flavor. Mm -hmm. The uh, chicken is tender, moist. I think it's just mayo. The bacon, lettuce, tomato, mayo combo. Mm -hmm. Playing off the the Asiago, got a nice little funk to it. Just surprisingly better than I thought it would be. Really good. Okay. I'm happy to report to y'all that I have officially <laughs> joined the realms of TikTok, Hoodie's House, Ego Follow if you want, it would help me out. Um, it's all just snippets of my already pre existing tons of content that I already have, so I, uh, I figured I might as well just play my hand over there too, right? Just to see what happens, see if I can get any. Any new eyes on me. But I've gone to the dark side of TikTok. I always said, like, I will never join <laughs> that vile app. And here I am. It's insane over there. A pedophile's wet dream, I'll tell you that much. I can't believe the just 
shit that occurs on there and just how man like just there's there's the girls on, on there what they're what they're up to for how their age like i'm just like where are the parents and then i swipe and then i'm like oh there's the parents because the mom's like in on it too she's like drinking wine shaking her ass and shit and like this girl's like 14 15 just like wearing like almost nothing and the mom's like with them and stuff like it's like it's a cra it's a crazy realm over there I was definitely cruising around the app to try to like get a sense and a feel for what gets traction or like how people tag shit, like just the method in which you promote yourself. And in my travels, just really just a high level of thoughtery occurring is really what it is. That That whole app is just basically just a thoughts playground it is a horny horny app <laughs> you can get into some like a bunch of other side genre stuff but like the main things that get promoted are just like very sexual songs with people just doing the those trending dances wearing like almost nothing and you know every girl that's like of age that's on there shaking that tail feather you go into their profile and they all have a, a link tree. You click the link tree and they all have OnlyFans. Like every girl has OnlyFans. And I'm just like, mind blown. At the moral decay. <laughs> of our society. But hey, I eat in front of a camera, so I guess I'm here for it too, right? <laughs> I don't know if this is morally off, but I know it's a little, it's a little strange, but I don't think I'm, I'm not selling my body. I am definitely selling porn, but it's food porn. <laughs> I don't know, man. Signs of the times. But in my travels over there, I also got, like, there's people, there's constantly people live. And your feed will... Uh, suggest you alive and you click into a live and once you're in the live you can just start scrolling through people that are live and I, I I can't lie I got so addicted to that just going into people's live streams and just wiling out and once again for the most part a lot of like groups of like three girls they're all in front of the camera and it's just like they're usually kind of they're usually sh drinking or about to drink and then they just like drink and dance and it's like they're just like seeking att attention from horny dudes and they're just like drinking and they're like oh follow me go follow my instagram but there's some other other like weird stuff going on there too. Like there's, I guess for a lot, a lot of it, there's just a lot of like people gaming. Definitely a lot of gaming.
Mm. A surprising amount of um, like older women too. Like I'm talking like 55, 60 and they're, they're up dancing like on the live too. Like very interesting. But, I don't know. I don't understand the appeal of, like, the trends on there. Like, I'm down to just post these food things on there. But I don't, I just don't understand the appeal of the trends. That said, I am tempted to try doing, like, the, the lip syncing, the voiceover. Because that shit looks pretty fun. I feel like I'd be good at it. I feel like I can make very expressive faces and like I can lip, lip sync pretty good. Those are kind of funny. But the whole time I was there, I'm just wondering like, I'm pretty sure most people don't make money on the app. So, in my estimate, it's just, like, a lot of really bored people just, like, trying to pass time, which to me is just, like, I don't know. It doesn't seem like an intelligent way to go about social media just to do it, like, because you can make money on TikTok, but I think it's, it's a lot more difficult. I know for sure that people can, when you're live, people can, like, send you these, like, gifts or, like, these, like, whatever. But they have, they pay for them and then it, like, becomes money in your account kind of thing. But I was on a bunch of lives and I saw, like, almost nobody giving out these like virtual gifts so I don't know I'm still confused about the whole thing but it does seem like a bit of an untapped resource like I feel like people somehow get a lot of followers really quickly so I figure it might be worth it because I already already have this content created right right a screen screen capture one of my old video or a snippet from my old video put it up takes like 30 seconds like so if it can drive traffic then i think it'll be worth it but we'll see how it goes as you can tell i'm not really feeling the big baked potato i usually love a good baked potato but for some reason I don't know. It's just not really... Not really doing what I wanted it to do for me. It's a little stiff. I like... I like it to be cooked longer. I think is my my issue here. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, time for dessert. All right. Oh, man's caught the frosty, eh? It's like a little chocolate. It's kind of like a milkshake, kind of like a malt. Sure you've all had one probably, right? It's a little ice cream, Bob. They are delicious, though. The pro move is usually when you get a fresh order with fries, you dunk your fries in it. The salty, the sweet. 
combination is where it's at. But that's polarizing. Some people think you're messed in the head for doing that. And other people won't even accept you if you don't do it. So let me know who you are down below. I know it's a divided camp. Mm. So yeah, if you feel inclined to go give me a follow on the talk, that'd be a preach. But I don't know. I'd understand if you didn't. You're not going to see anything new over there really, right? It would just be assistance in me getting up to, I think it's a thousand followers you need to be able to go live on there. I'd like to unlock that feature sooner rather than later. But uh, whatever floats your boat. You guys know, I've never been the type to ask for subscribers, to ask for likes, subs smash the fucking button and all that crap. I just show up, I do what I do, I make the content. If it's good enough, I think people will subscribe. I, I really <laughs> am not a part of the whole, like, I just, I don't like the whole, like, oh, and if you don't remember, please to hit the like and the bell in the bottom and the notification and there's, like, I just, every <laughs> YouTuber shoves that shit down people's throats and it's like, I don't want to be that guy. I've never been that guy since Jump, since I started this channel. I've just always been like, hey, it's me. I have content. Do you want it and like it? And if you do, you can probably subscribe and stick around. <laughs> Because that seems like the logical thing to do, in, in my opinion. <laughs> Anyways, enough of my ranting. Uh, that was good. Different. A nice mix. A nice little walk through the garden, if you will. Um, yeah. I'm sufficiently suffocified, and that means satisfied. So, till the, till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.